Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do the theorem that states if two triangles are equiangular. Equiangular means that the angles are the same. Then the corresponding sides are in proportion and the triangles are similar. Okay. Now if we need to prove this theorem, what are they giving us? First of all, we have triangle ABC and triangle DEF. But more interesting, what they are telling us is that the triangles are equiangular. We are given that angle A is equal to angle D. Angle B is equal to angle E. And angle C is equal to angle F. So if we were to mark it, we got that A is equal to D, B is equal to E, and C is equal to F. What do they want us to prove? They want us to prove that the corresponding sides are in proportion. If I were to take the side opposite a given angle, so let's say I take this angle, the side opposite is AB, and the angle which is F, which now remember is equal to C, the side opposite is DE. What they are saying is that DE over AB, can you see I linked the two sides with their equal angles. Then I am taking angle B and angle E. So I am going to say DF is equal to AC. And working with the last angle, I am going to say that EF over BC. Now when they say the corresponding sides are in proportion, then what they mean is that if I link the angles up and I create a ratio, they will be equal. But look at what is specific. On the top, I only had the small triangle. And at the bottom, I only had the big triangle. Now the ratio works such that either you can have the small triangle over the big triangle or the big triangle over the small triangle. But this is what you want to prove, that this is really true, that the ratios are in proportion. So the ratios of the big triangle over the small triangle is equal to the other sides depending on the angles. So basically the bigger side over the bigger side is equal to the medium side over the medium side which is equal to the small side over the small side. How do we go about proving this? First you are going to construct. You are going to construct li line PQ but such that if I construct line PQ such that AP must equal to DE and AQ must equal to DF. So what I'm saying is that I'm going to construct this line PQ and I'm going to make it such that AP is equal to DE and AQ is equal to DF. So when you're doing the construction, we're trying to get a similar triangle. Now, if you look at the triangle, we can see that if I'm working with APQ and DEF, they are actually congruent. Now, congruency is taught in your grade 10 syllabus. So if you are not familiar with your grade 10 syllabus, then you need to go over that entire section. In triangle APQ and triangle DEF, what do I have? I have that AP is equal to DE. This was by our construction, right? And then I have that angle A is equal to angle D. This was given. And I have that AQ is equal to DF. Again, 
by our construction. So therefore, triangle APQ is congruent to triangle DEF and our reason is side angle side. Now once we have that, what can we say? Once you have congruency, the deductions from congruency is if we made this P1 and Q1, we can now say that P1, remember from deductions, we've got that P1 is equal to angle E. And we have that Q1 is equal to F. Remember this is from congruency. We also have that PQ is going to equal to EF. Now if you look, if P1 is equal to E and Q1 is equal to F, then what can I say about line PQ and BC? I can now say that PQ is parallel to BC. So I can say that PQ is parallel to BC. Why? You can see that they are creating. Can you see here? What kind of angles are we creating? This is also your grade 10 work. It is under parallel lines. If you are not familiar with the work I am doing now, you need to go to your grade 10 syllabus. Now we have that PQ is parallel to BC. What kind of angles? They are creating corresponding angles. Can you see the F? It's creating an F. So it's corresponding angles. Now since we have that this PQ is parallel to BC. If they are parallel, I can say that AP over AB is going to equal to AQ over AC. Now why is that? If you remember the theorem we s that we had done previously, it says a line parallel to one side of a triangle cuts the other two sides in proportion. So if I have proven that there is a set of parallel lines, then immediately I can say, okay, they are in proportion. So my reason is line parallel to one side of the triangle. Now I've got that AP over AB is equal to AQ over AC. But what do I know about AP and DE? AP and DE. AP is equal to DE. We've discussed that in the beginning where we discussed it under what was given. Can you see the construction? AP is equal to DE. We also have that AQ is equal to DF. So we have that AP is equal to DE which was given. Remember it was under our construction. And then we have that AQ is equal to DF. Again it was given or you can say under our construction. Okay. Now look. If AP is equal to DE, then I can write that DE over AB is equal to, if AQ is equal to DF, I can write that DF over AC. Can you see you've just proven the theorem that says DE over AB. So look, if I take the angle opposite F. DE over AB is equal to DF over AC. Now likewise, if you use the same triangle but you do the parallel line at a different angle, I'm doing it so that BY is equal to EF. And I'm cutting that BX is equal to DE. Then what would our ratio be? Now you know that this line is going to be parallel to this line because you've already proven it in your previous 
information. So you don't need to redo this. When you say likewise, it means that everything else that I've already proven, I am redoing. All I'm showing you now is that it can also work when I cut at a different angle. So what would our ratio be? We would have BY over BC is going to equal to BX over BA. But since BY is equal to EF, I can say that EF over BC is going to equal, now we have that BX is equal to DE. BX is equal to DE. So in place of BX, we're going to have DE is equal to BA. In the first one, we proved that DE over AB is equal to DF over AC. Now look here. But do you notice that these two are exactly the same? Therefore, I can now make a final conclusion. that looking at the information given what did they want us to prove they wanted to prove that the corresponding sides are in proportion and when they say corresponding sides you can now see that the corresponding sides are in proportion on the top I have the small triangle over at the bottom I have the big triangle and if you look at the sides, the sides are linked to the angles that they are equal to Thank you for watching.